YouTube, how y'all doing out there? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share the video, comment this video. All right, listen. LeBron James was sensational last night. Like, I mean, he was sensational from the get-go. Not from the get-go. From the second quarter on in, when he hit them three straight three, two from the logo. He was feeling it. He got going. LeBron James and Shannon Sharp, and he's posted Shannon Sharp post on his club session page, LeBron shooting the ball with Jordan crying emoji face. He really, his fans and his people are really taking this, this shit, this end season game serious. I can tell you from the get-go, before we even get before the end of this video, the New Orleans Pelicans didn't take this shit seriously at all. T.J. McCutt had nine points. Uh, what's the other had? What's the other nigga name? Uh, Brandon Ingram had nine points. Them niggas was partying in Vegas. They took that, they got the money, they got the, little, the winning some money and, and, and went partying. Them niggas went partying. Them niggas was not ready to play. They didn't want to play at all. You can tell they didn't want to play at all. Them niggas didn't want to play at all. A lot of people didn't take that shit seriously. Boston didn't take it. Well, Boston did take it seriously. They just didn't have one of their big pieces for Azingas to be with them. So we got to look at that from that side. But a lot of teams didn't take this shit seriously, bro. I believe Milwaukee did. The Indiana Pacers, it's going to be a fun and exciting matchup because the Lakers defensively has picked it up their intensity. And no, and people weren't playing on that shit. Not the Pelicans. because they didn't feel like playing at all. People like uh like Devin Booker got destroyed. You know, he ended up having a good scoring game and six assists, but he had five turnovers before half. They, 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 that's like, the, the, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the way the Lakers play, they blitz the pick and roll. That's how you do it, especially the high pick and roll. The high, they, they, they blitz, they blitz that shit. That's how you, that's how you kill jock coverages. Force the ball and get turnovers, right? Even though the Lakers allowed to fall a lot and get away with calls, and LeBron got away with a call against the Suns. Right, but if the Suns was healthy, there's no way the fuck they'll beat the goddamn Suns. If Bradley Beal was there, another score, they, they lost by three points to the Lakers with 22 turnovers. Let that sink in 22 turnovers. All right, but I'm gonna go back to LeBron James. He feel LeBron James in his twisted head feel like if I could just win the first in game season tournament, this gonna give me above Michael Jordan. He's been cold in saying it, he's trying to do anything in his power so he can catch Michael Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, shit ain't gonna work. Shit ain't gonna work with this soft ass putter puff lead. And then everybody on the broadcast, Doc Rivers and Kenneth Walker. He is so much smarter and so much. It's easy to him. It's like easy to him out there. It is easy to him. It's no rim protection. So what they do is a player like LeBron James, his ain't get to open up. He can't get to open up. He gets to drive to the basket the time he wants to. And, that, and when he when he making threes, he's unguardable. He's always been un unguardable. But when he's making threes, you're gonna. The paint gonna open up for him. You gonna just let him let it up. Nobody hit the run the block it. And did you see the play? The fast break, but Brennan, Brennan had to follow the Brown running them over, and they call following Brennan Ingram, but he's running backwards. And the broadcast can post it. You know, it's a fresh rain coming when you follow somebody, but you taking the worst punishment. I mean, everybody that follow Brennan doesn't take the worst of that punishment. That's why he he badly get the whistle sometimes because he's like the Shaq treatment. Nigga, it's too big. Nigga just ran the nigga over. Like it's unfortunate. That you can't go LeBron James. Or you gonna need to see the pair of You're gonna be in the icy hot for a long time. If you go LeBron James all game long and you go him straight up like you should, like like NBA players do. Uh if you if you go him, you're gonna be in the ICU taking all them hits and, and bruises and punishes. You might have to go and cardiac arrest like DeMar Hamlin. He and your he and your fucking he gonna cage your fucking chest in. You cannot go LeBron James all game long if you're not Kawhi Leonard Paul George, the size of them niggas, and, and, and strong and built like that. Because he gonna fucking cake. Lil Brennan ain't got for, and Kevin Lawrence trying to guard LeBron James by itself. That nigga gonna be in the ICU. All right? That's my take on the game last night. I feel like the Lakers defense was okay, but I feel like the, the Pelicans didn't come to play at all. I thought LeBron James was the best player on the floor, and I think he's taking this shit seriously because it's gonna put him in the GOAT debate and his twisted head and his fans. Like Shane already on Twitter and, and, and on his on his YouTube page posting shit about it. He thinks it's gonna make him the GOAT. This little bullshit in game term that they made up that nobody cares about. Nobody it's, no more excitement. Nobody LeBron James take the bubble series and he take the in game series. He can't take the NBA championship or the West Coast Final Series because he ain't that this team's not good enough. But in December, uh take a four month break, three years ago in the bubble, yeah, LeBron James ready. He take it serious than everybody else because nobody else taking it seriously. You ever, I don't know if you ever hoop. Y'all play basketball. 
when you hooping with niggas and you just can't take them serious. This is what the end game in the bubble was. And we were like, oh, nah, man, you hate, man, because it's the bubble. But LeBron, I mean, just look, why, why is he the only nigga excited to play? He come out, his quote saying he want to be the first one to win. Nobody said I want to be the first one to win, but this shit is this shit is a championship. No, his goal ain't a championship this year. I think I'm playing for an in-game tournament. He played every trash team to get there besides last night's belly. Because it ain't for real. Because Zion Williams ain't for real. Zion Williams ain't for real. Y'all think he's for real? I mean, that nigga ain't for real. He, he rather chase porn stars and have get, 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 just chase sex. If you're in Vegas, if he's in Vegas all night, what you think he did? Chase sex? That's, that, he a freak. Not on the basketball court. He's a freak off the basketball court. That's what he was doing. That's what everybody on paper was doing. So, that's my take on it. But I want to praise LeBron James, 9-12 shooting, 30 points through three quarters. He was sensational, phenomenal. I don't care what game it was, all right? Let's describe it.